after checking out um, a whole bunch of um, people sort of getting confused on Facebook and uh, Twitter and stuff around whether you could tether the 3GS uh, iPhone on uh, iOS 4.3 to the iPad, uh, I thought I would uh, put together this quick video to show you how to do it. So firstly, um, I'm on Vodafone in New Zealand. So that's the first thing to be aware of. And they allow Bluetooth and uh, USB tethering as well as part of um, my data plan. Uh, anyway, here's the phone. Uh, you can see here that, uh, I'm just trying to pull this and focus a little bit, uh, that it's on uh, version 4.3. Uh, carriers uh, Vodafone New Zealand, and uh, this is my 3GS MC131 model, and here's my iPad as well. Uh, so the iPad at the moment is also on uh, 4.3, uh, which we'll just have a quick look at here, uh, and I'll also um, turn the Wi-Fi off on the uh, iPad so we can be sure that um, this demo is using the uh, 3G connection from the iPhone. See here once again, uh, version 4.3. Uh, this is a 3G iPad. So. And what I'm going to do here is just turn off the Wi-Fi so we know that there's no Wi-Fi in there. And uh, there's no data plan on here currently either. Okay, and I'll turn Wi-Fi off on uh, the phone as well. Okay, so we've got no Wi-Fi on either of them. Uh, phone's currently now running on 3G. And we go to the personal hotspot feature, uh, which you can see here, again, on the 3GS, only gives you the option for Bluetooth or USB. Uh, as I understand it, on the iPhone 4, there'd be an option here for Wi-Fi as well. So turn the personal hotspot on, and it says it's now discoverable, so it's using Bluetooth to do that and uh, it's the name of my phone there uh, for uh, another item to be discoverable. Now, I tried this prior to upgrading to 4.3 and uh, the iPad would never uh, discover or be able to pair with uh, the iPhone. So um, that's the difference here, I guess, in, in 4.3. So just turn Bluetooth on on the um, iPad and uh, sure enough, it shows up my phone on there. Uh, and uh, when we connect the two together, one of the first things you notice is a, a very different icon on just to the right of the uh, like of the top uh, left of the page where it says iPad. And what we've got is like a chain link icon there now, just to say that it's paired and um, uh, effectively paired with the iPhone and uh, ready to go. So let's just see now that we're tethered uh, over Bluetooth. Uh, let's just have a quick look and see whether uh, things are working. Let's open up Flipboard here and you can see the pages are turning over, so clearly it's got a connection. And if we look at the phone, uh, we can see the, uh, the telltale blue bar for personal hotspot, uh, one connection. Obviously with Bluetooth, um, one of the, uh, I guess, the, the sort of the hang-ups here is that you can only connect one uh, device uh, over the Bluetooth uh, tethering, uh, whereas on the iPhone 4, um, uh, you can connect up to three devices. So only one device on this one. Um, but the key thing for me is that it works with the iPad. Um, I've tethered before with my laptop and so forth, um, and it's totally cool, but um, uh, have not not before 4.3 been able to tether with the Bluetooth um, with the iPad. So uh, this certainly saves some money from a, a point of view of um, using your iPad and your iPhone, even if you have the 3GS model, uh, to connect to the internet and uh, use data. Um, just one more um, test here. Um, just have a look at Al Jazeera. This is an yep. iPhone app, so... Uh, uh, yeah, just for a second. So, um, and if you touch the Watch Live button on Al Jazeera, you can see this is using the 3G connection, and uh, we're getting a live video feed there as well. So, uh, so it all works pretty well. And that's uh, data tethering uh, over